to the Crazy Hand Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, we talked a few weeks back about uh, the, the new Lunchable Destroyer. By uh, <laughs> Lunchable, the, the competition. You know everyone's just champing at the bit for Lunchables to get taken out. Cause, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> everybody knows. Yeah, everyone knows. They've, uh, they've, held, they've been up on that horse too long, Yeah, Jonas. everyone loves their low-quality snacks. Knock them down a peg, yeah, exactly. pizza crackers. Yeah, yeah, you take your tortillas. Uh, Mr. Beast, Logan Paul, and K- KSI is the other one? KSI. Okay. Yep. Came out with a Lunchly, a rival. They're going to take them down. Healthy snacks with Gatorade and chocolate and processed foods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Healthy, though. Healthy chocolate. Um, healthy know, Gatorade. Uh, it's not really a Gatorade. What is Prime? Isn't Prime an energy drink? I think Prime's a Gatorade. I thought it was an energy drink and not a like an electrolyte inducer. I don't want to miss... Miss quote. I've never had a Prime. So uh, Prime know. is not Gatorade. It's a sports drink brand. It is uh, a Prime Hydration drink. and Prime Energy. Okay, Prime so Hydration is similar to Gatorade post workout. Oh, okay. Uh, and then Prime Hydration is not an energy drink. Prime Energy is an energy drink. So oh, so there's both. Yeah, yeah. So wait, so wait, they're selling energy drinks to kids with chocolate? I would hope that it would be the uh, hydration and not the energy drink. Yeah, but, but I, don't, way, I don't know the difference. Hydration, if you're not an athlete, you don't need to be drinking Gatorade if you're not dehydrated. Yeah. So anyway. So the the lunch, the uh, the whole thing is that the package comes with a Feastables, which is the Mr. Beast chocolate bar, branded chocolate bar. The Prime Energy or hydration, whatever the frick. That's uh, Logan Paul's brand, which has blown up. It, oh, wow. oh well, yeah, because he were, he's in WWE now, and they put their logo on the ring and ish. So wrestling fans are all about it now. I mean, and what does KSI do? Like he has bad food. K- is KSI that- is one of the world's most famous content creators. Uh, from so the, they basically the put UK. him involved to sell it in Europe. Uh, yeah, I mean he's just on the, he's on there. You know? Yeah, they're like, oh, here's my chocolate, my energy drink, and I like processed foods. And yeah, he's just talent. Okay. So he probably gets like the you know the less of a share of everything. Well, they probably split the the thing into thirds, but then Feastables and Prime get the 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 sales of the drinks that go yeah. into the thing. So oh, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, um, so there was a TikToker. Uh, Rosanna something. Rosalina Castillo. Rosanna Pancino yeah. was doing a, a video where she was like, oh, let me just compare these. And uh, come to find out, the cheese was riddled with mold. There you go. Bring that picture up. That's a good one. <laughs> these are the pictures. Yeah, so it's... Uh, these are the pictures of the mold. And it said here... Brands. Uh, I was filming a video comparing Lunchables to Lunchly, and I was shocked when I was opening the pizza Lunchly. The cheese has mold. The expiration date was still two months away. Yep. And I checked online and found at least a dozen other people posting that their Lunchly's had mold, too. So now there's like a – look how sad Mr. Beast looks. Uh, so now there's like – so now on top of it, their stuff isn't even packaged properly. That's, and that's what it is. It's not packaged properly. I mean, they just – they need more preservatives. Come on, man. Put more preservatives in that. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's, healthy. that's healthy for the kids. That's what we need. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Oh, that's something different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know, man. I don't really care. I just think it was funny because they got backlash about it in the first place. Yeah. And then now the shit's moldy. And, and you know, it, it's, it's crazy because it's like these guys are content. Now, Mr. Beast is an entrepreneur. He's, uh, he's, he's, I don't know exactly where he's made his money. Um, because I frankly don't care. It's not my money. So why do I care where he made his, yeah. but he made his d- doing like legitimate business. And then he went into content creation. Uh, Logan Paul, purely content creator, KSI, purely content creator. Obviously they've made moves to Logan the Paul's point. making wrestling money. Now. Yeah. we're well, to a point now where they do other things other than just the content, but still it's content because what are you doing with your wrestling? Oh yeah. yeah. If he was in movies, I'd still be like your content creator as far as I'm concerned. Um, so they tried to come up with this idea of, you know, get their brands together, make a food, get KSI involved. He's he's another face, help sell it in the UK. And lo and behold, everything's done shittily. Yeah, lo and <laughs> behold, when you put any of those guys on something that didn't go as planned. Uh, but yeah, like it's, I don't know, man. It's, it's just wild. And then it reminds me of the, do you remember the pink sauce lady? You remember no. Pink, you remember the pink sauce lady? 
when Pink Sauce was blowing up and this and it was like another content creator who tried to like get uh her her product into stores. Oh yeah. And it was it lasted for a while, but then once again, there was the issues with the uh the pink sauce not necessarily yeah, pink Ew. sauce. Yeah. But there was like the issues with like uh some of it going bad too because it had dairy in it and it was just being put on shelves and stuff. Oh my but, god, uh, that's disgusting. Yeah, the pink sauce was a, a similar kind of vibes to that. Oh, right? Yeah, I just I never heard about that. But the other thing that's kind of come up in the news recently is like speaking of preservatives and other stuff, it's like there's been a lot of things I've seen online of like people are starting to finally in good reason coming up with like comparing products for like the U cause the UK and the U S standards for food are way different. Oh, And uh, like, it'll be like fruit loops. And like in, in, uh, in the UK, it's, it's like the colors are way more muted. They're, you know, Probably they're all less sugar. And then literally it's like, five ingredients and then the u.s is like 18 ingredients and a lot of it's like red dye number seven doxamycline yeah. bada bada yeah all this shit and it's like well why do we need that in our food when the uk obviously doesn't need it and it's fine the other thing that really got me was they showed mcdonald's french fries uk it's literally like potato oil optional salt the u.s mcdonald's french fries have like 20 ingredients that they go into them i'm like <laughs> It's French fries and salt and oil, bro. Like, what do you what, what do you mean we got to put stuff on the fries? All right, look, Jeremy Kennedy, chill out, all right? Jeremy Kennedy? He was the British guy who came to America to try to revamp school lunches. He had a, oh, short, yeah. he had a short run series where he went to different schools and tried to, like, change the Oh, whole, I saw whole, that. That yeah, shit was funny. I watched every single episode. Where he episode. was like, this is what they do to make hot dogs. And they, they just yes! blend it. And he's like, do you, do you want these kids? And they're like, yeah. And he's he was like, ground up like chicken bones and shit. And all the kids were like, yeah, I want a chicken nugget. Muff, are you kidding me? <laughs> tastes good. Yeah. I don't care. People so, are like, I don't care what's in it. It tastes good. It was absolutely insane. Like, this was a time in America where this guy came from Britain because he had had so much impact over in his own country. He had revamped school lunches to be more healthy. The, uh, like, vending machines had more healthy options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just in general the food choices in the UK are healthier. Yeah. Comes to America, tries to does it, has like this huge multi-million dollar like reality show where he goes into the schools and talks to principals and teachers and kids. The shit lasts for one season and it fails. Yeah. Because yeah. we don't care. No. And that's why the whole country is obese. It is. It is my whole country. So be. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah, it's like nobody, nobody care. Everyone wants taste over health. Period. That's it. It was the saddest thing I've ever seen because I'm watching this, and at the time I was big in the gym and I was eating health, healthy, um, healthy choices, and I was like, this guy really sees the vision, and I hope he succeeds. Muff failed completely. Oh yeah, completely. But you know it's not that it's it's what can you do, man? What do you do, Jonas? You can only make choices for yourself. Yeah, and look, man, the kids are doomed. Is that oh, what you yeah. want to hear? Oh, I mean, is that what you want to hear? I mean, even even like our generation was doomed because like our parents, like that's when a lot of that stuff really yeah. started coming out, and our parents didn't know any better. They're just like, yeah, I eat McDonald's all the time. That's good. so you've seen like the memes of like 30, 30 years old, nineteen eighty, thirty years old today. And like the difference in the way that the people look, uh, I have not, but I'm sure no. it's very eye opening. So it's a big, it's a, it's it's a meme that's going around where like a 40 year old, a 30 year old today does not look like a 30 year 30 year old, 40 year old in like the 70s or the 80s or whatever. Right, 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 right. And it is because of like the knowledge we have about these healthy choices and, and like just uh, the food choices, exercise. Uh, we have more knowledge, man. I can only imagine how people were in like the beginning times, but you know. Yeah, man, it's, uh, well, it's also, it's also very interesting because like, I think, you know, people will always say like people, people look older when they're younger now. I think a lot of that comes from, uh, things that are going in the food and stuff. A hundred percent. It's literally changing the genetic makeup of us as people. But they, I mean, but still, we're we're not perfect over here. And uh, though we are living longer, it seems as though 
it seems as though we still don't have a lot of caring about like the food, the food that we're feeding the kids, about no. the food that we're feeding ourselves. You know. Yeah. So it's not over for Mr. Beast either. He did, you know, he he apparently doesn't like Israel. He didn't actually make the sign, by the way, Jonas. The sign. Uh, somebody was playing a little prank on Mr. Beast. Oh, there. really? That's a little prank on Mr. Beast. So. He didn't really. He doesn't really say f Israel, but I thought it was funny. Yeah. That's all right. Wild. So, Either way. Uh, that's yeah. it, man. Yeah. That's all we got. That's all the time we got for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. I'm going to order a pizza. TNT. We out.